But we're going to show you how to find your path of least resistance. Because we know for sure that you are source energy in physical bodies. And we know for sure that your life has helped you to define what you want and that you have launched rockets of desire that have caused a trend. They've caused a path. These continuing identifying of what you want has caused a momentum. It's caused a becoming. It's caused an expansion of your being. It's caused an evolution of who you are. It's caused an expansion of the source within you. And it's big and it matters and it's real and it's vivid, but you've got to get in the receptive mode of it in order to get in sync with it. Your athletes know when they're in the zone and that's all it is. They know when they have hooked up with that vibration that allows them to express in this moment, right now, this red hot minute, the whole of who they are, the desire that they hold, the physical vitality that they know, the agility, the timing, the harmonics of the physical body, the ability of the body to respond to the vibrational harmonics. They know, they know that it's a physical game. Of course they do. Of course you're in a physical game, but it's a head game. It's a vibration game. It's a vibration game. It's a vibration game. It's an alignment game. Alignment trumps everything. So often there are things that you don't want to give up. I don't want to give that up. We say, if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would be willing to give up everything but alignment. Because in alignment, everything that you want must be yours. In alignment, you find the receptive mode. And when you find the receptive mode, then you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Then you're in the right place at the right time. Then amazing things happen and the universe demonstrates to you over and over and over and over and over again how blessed you are, how loved you are, how aware of you we all are, you see. Until big things and small things, things that you would say don't amount to very much, demonstrate to you your constant, your constant, your constant worthiness. The other day, Esther was walking with a friend around the loop where she lives in Del Mar. And they're walking around the loop and they came to this house and it had a for sale sign on it. And Esther said, I know the people who were renting this house, really cute young couple. She said, one day, Jerry and I came around the corner and here is this young man on some sort of weird bicycle contraption. It didn't have normal pedals. It was like a different kind of pumping action. And he was pushing it up the hill rather than riding it up the hill. And Jerry said to him, pretty steep hill, isn't it? And he said, no, it's not that. My wife gave it to me for my birthday today. And they put it together in the shop and then they had to disengage something in order to get it in her car. But she didn't realize that they disengaged something. And so I had no brakes. <laughs> and Jerry and Esther said, oh. <laughs> so they visited a little while, really enjoyed these really beautiful people and off they went that was about five years ago so esther has not seen them she has not been there much she's not seen them she's not even thought about them in all of this time until this day two days ago she's walking with julie around the loop and they see this house is for sale so esther tells that story then they finish their walk get in the car go to roberto's for lunch and on the way is that kid on that machine in a whole other part of the town? Esther said, law of attraction is my freaky friend. <laughs> and we said, alignment is your freaky friend. In other words, when you are tuned in, when your resistance is non-existent, then everything that is important to you, big or small, demonstrates itself to you because everything is known about everything. And when you are emitting a vibration, you are sending out a signal that is calling something back. It's what law of attraction is. That which is likened to itself is drawn. So one might worry that, well, if law of attraction is on all things big and small, am I not going to be 
inundated by data and we say yes you are you are inundated by data all day every day that represents the balance of the vibration that you put out everything that you are feeling is an indicator of everything that you are thinking so what is a thought anyway we want you you beautiful manifested beings sitting as clumps on these chairs we want you to understand your vibrational nature we want you to understand the nature of this vibrational universe we want you to understand that a vibration is a vibration is a vibration is a vibration is a vibration you know that story that you've been telling for so long if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it doesn't make a sound the answer is unequivocally no it does not make a sound because sound is the byproduct of the translation of the vibration by a receiving mechanism it takes a focuser it takes an eardrum it takes something to turn that sound into something that can be received are you sort of kind of getting that so there are vibrations all around you and you have practiced yourself into being the receiver of them we just want you to practice yourself into being the receiver of the ones that feel good not the ones that feel bad not all the ones which means we want you to no longer be conditional focusers you see something that feels good you look at it you see something that feels bad you look at it not much discriminating we want you to be so discriminating that you pull your attention at the earliest most subtle stage that you can find away from those things that don't feel good we want you to tune yourself to this high high frequency of who you are so this is a big picture you were source energy before you came into this physical body and splat now you're here but the larger part of you is still non-physical and still that pure positive energy still in that place of non-resistance so here you are just like you planned exploring contrast that's a good thing because if you don't know what you don't want you cannot know what you do want you must have that focusing experience in order to define and decide what you want so at all levels of your being you're launching these rockets the cells of your body are also launching rockets you're launching rockets of desire you're launching launching rockets <laughs> raunchy rockets rockets you're launching rockets of evolution and expansion and the source within you is becoming and now you have two vibrational points of view the vibrational point of view of who you really are and the law of attraction path that is being drawn to that powerful point of attraction and then there's you and what you're thinking so who you really are is unconditional meaning who you really are will never look at a condition and try to fix it and use it as an excuse to disconnect from calling all things that you are asking for to that you and calling this physical you to that you calling you into alignment with who you are and when you are not fixated on something that you're pushing against you find that vibrational path easily and you feel that flow and that ease where as soon as you all those other parts many times so here's this vibration but as that vibration evolves as it gains momentum it becomes more noticeable to those who are on the wavelength of it so then the first manifestation let's call it a manifestation the first manifestation the first you turning a thought to a thing the first manifestation of this vibration is a thought occurs to you and an emotion is so close on the heels of it you can't tell which came first the emotion or the thought but there they are an emotion within you that is a manifestation of that vibration and now you're rocking and rolling now you are on the path now you're in the perceptive mode so here's this thought let's call it your path and here you are with this thought on this path now if you don't do anything to divert your path if you don't contradict it if you don't say yeah but if you don't say oh that's a really good idea but I could never do it or oh that's a really good idea but I've tried that before and it didn't work if you don't take that path and divert it the momentum of that path is going to increase and as the momentum of that path increases now your ability to perceive even more is going to happen so now it's not just a thought and a feeling now you're beginning to rendezvous with blue bicycle contraptions in places in other words now manifestations are happening that are evidence to you of your past hear it 
You're not deluded path. You're not convoluted path. You're not contradicted path. You're not shooting myself in the foot path. You're not defensive path. You're not justifying path. You're not rationalizing path. Just a pure thought that is not contested with a belief that you've practiced. So what are you going to do? You have a lot of beliefs. You have a lot of beliefs that do not serve you. And the reason we know that is because you have a lot of desires that have not manifested fully. They get to the idea phase and then you kill them with contradictory thought that doesn't feel good when you think it. It doesn't feel good when you think it. So what most of you do, even though it didn't feel good when you thought it, because you weren't seeking alignment with source because you didn't understand all that it meant. You weren't seeking alignment with your own inner being or alignment with your own desires. You sought alignment with somebody else's opinion. And oh, they have so many differing opinions. We don't know how you just don't go out of your mind. As you talk to so many people about so many things, as you convince yourself why you can't do this and why you can't do this or why they shouldn't do that and why they shouldn't do that. What we want you to understand is that if you could leave the peanut gallery out of everything that matters to you and not dilute or divert your path, that momentum from a vibration to a thought, to an idea, to an emotion, to a rendezvous, to full manifestation would happen with you all day, every day on everything that matters to you, on everything that matters to you. And if it's not happening, it's for one reason and one reason only. You're introducing contradiction to your vibrational equation. And it's all right. Everybody does it. You just don't want to do it so much that you feel negative emotion about it. When you feel negative emotion about it, that's your clue to do something different. So here's an example. So let's say that you have a very clear sense of how you want to feel today. So you go over to someone's house, maybe you're related to them and they're having a no good, very bad day. And so you sit in the middle of it and you listen to them squabbling and you watch a sort of escalation of it. Maybe they're children, maybe it's adults, maybe it's adults and children, a mixture of some sort of people in disagreement with each other about something. So now if you have been following your path of least resistance for a while and you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on, now you are in a position where you can experience and live and feel the joyful experience of living unconditional love because you are so in alignment with who you are. You've practiced it so well. Your vibration is so strong that even though this is going on, it's not ringing your bells. It's not hooking you in. You're not feeling any defensiveness. You don't feel like helping the victim in the scenario. You don't feel like piling on to the one that's being picked on. In other words, you are vibrationally aloof from it. There's no hook for you in this situation. So you can sit there, you can be there, you can be unconditional. Here's a condition that is happening that's making all of them nuts and it's not making you nuts because you are in a different vibrational place. It's not threatening you. You don't feel defensive about it. You don't feel like you need to defend anybody else about it. You are tuned in, tapped in, turned on. You've been down that road so many times. You have found your place in it and you're sitting there and you may be the only one at that party having a good time, but you are and what's going on doesn't matter. Or you haven't practiced your path of least resistance all that much. You're wobbly in your vibration. You know what you want and you know what you don't want and all of it's sort of active. And so you sort of blunder into this experience and they're not getting along and you notice it and you're annoyed by it. And then you're trying to pick a side and you really think that that was unnecessary. You really didn't need to say that. No, this is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. And so you sit there and you're sort of gritting your teeth and you're trying to ignore it, but you really can't. And now they're looking at you like, what do you think about this? And you're looking away and they're thinking, well, why are you looking away? And you're thinking, well, I'm looking away because you're all making me nuts and I don't really like being here and I'm all out of whack. And then you finally do leave. You finally do leave. You finally, now this is the part we want you to hear. You finally do stumble on to your path of least resistance, but not until you have suffered mightily. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.